If you look up Faz3 on Instagram, you'll find the account of a young man named Faza, who seems to be living an extraordinary life. With over 7 million followers, he isn't your ordinary 30-something-year-old, better known as Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. He's been the crown prince of Dubai since 2008. With a dad worth billions, he definitely has a lot of money to spare. And we're gonna show you what he's spending it on. But before your bank account gets jealous, make sure to subscribe to The Richest for more content that'll make you richer in knowledge. Now, this is how the Crown Prince of Dubai spends his billions. To understand Sheikh Hamdan's lifestyle, we must first talk a little bit about Dubai. Located in the United Arab Emirates, one of the richest countries in the world, Dubai is known as the City of Gold. With its luxurious malls, incredible architecture, and festivals year-round, Daily Mirror journalist Trevor Davies once likened it to Las Vegas on steroids, but without the gambling. The United Arab Emirates has a unique way of running its country, as each of the seven emirates that make up the federation is ruled by an absolute monarch. The UAE also has a federal president who is elected from among the seven emirs. When it comes to Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Sheikh Hamdan's father, is its ruler. The Al Maktoum dynasty has actually been the ruling family of Dubai since 1833. Sheikh Mohammed is also the prime minister and vice president of the UAE. While Sheikh Hamdan's older brother should have been appointed the crown prince, Sheikh Rashid's controversial behavior made him an unsuitable choice. So, Sheikh Hamdan was appointed Crown Prince instead, and is next in line to rule Dubai. Sheikh Rashid unfortunately passed away from a heart attack in 2015, meaning that Sheikh Hamdan would have become Crown Prince one way or another. While we all know everything there is to know about the ever-popular British royal family, Queen Elizabeth II's personal net worth is only estimated to be a little over 500 million. In comparison, Sheikh Hamdan's father, Sheikh Mohammed, is estimated to have a net worth of about 4.5 billion. While he used to be worth much more, he gives away a lot of his money to charity. He once gave away 10 million of his own money to set up the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Knowledge Foundation, which aims to empower future generations and enable them to devise sustainable solutions to facilitate the process of knowledge and research in the Arab world. As for the Crown Prince of Dubai, his Instagram account clearly shows that he loves living the life of the son of a billionaire. His photo documentation of his travels across the world is enough to make anyone jealous. But who is the man behind the gram? Born on November 14, 1982, Sheikh Hamdan is the third of his father's children with senior wife, Sheikha Hin bin Maktoum bin Juma al Maktoum. Sheikh Hamdan's parents are actually cousins, and their 1979 wedding was one of the most extravagant weddings to ever take place in Dubai, reportedly costing over a hundred million. While Sheikh Mohammed does have an officially acknowledged junior wife, some believe that he may have a few unofficial wives too. Although having several wives might sound like an outdated tradition to our North American viewers, it is totally legal in the UAE and is quite common. While Sheikh Hamdan attended the Rashid School for Boys for his primary schooling in Dubai, he went on to study in the UK at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, a prominent school of which Prince Harry and Prince William are also notable alumni. In addition to his military academy training, Sheikh Hamdan also took some economics courses at the London School of Economics and Dubai School of Government. Yet his most important schooling in leadership and public administration came from working alongside his father. In his own words, I studied and graduated from Mohammed bin Rashid's school, and I'm still learning from him every day. Described by many as having impressive leadership skills, flavored with modesty, generosity, and simplicity, Sheikh Hamdan is following in the footsteps of his father. And although he holds the prestigious title of Crown Prince of Dubai, he's still a down-to-earth guy. And you can reportedly see him driving his car around Dubai, going to local restaurants and talking with the people of his city. He even created a website, Hamdan.ae, so that he could enhance his communication with UAE residents and citizens. 
Sheikh Hamdan is also a well-rounded person with interests outside of helping to run a bustling city. On his website, you can find an entire section dedicated to poetry written by him. Written under the pen name Faza, which means a person who speeds to the help and support of others in the Emirati dialect, he composes Nabati poetry. He writes as a way to bring joy to people and alleviate their suffering. Sheikh Hamdan even launched the Hamdan bin Muhammad bin Rashid initiative of literary creativity to preserve local poetry and support poets who struggle to publish their poems. His poetry has also been featured in a string of regional hit songs. Aside from poetry, Sheikh Hamdan is really into horseback riding and has used his skills to win a number of international and regional endurance riding championships. He's also been praised by the UAE media for being an animal lover. Not only does he regularly snap pictures for his Instagram with all kinds of different animals, he even, on two separate occasions, rescued an oryx and a gazelle that were in distress. Now that you know a little bit more about who the crown prince is, we can get into the fun part of dissecting his spending habits. But make no mistake about it, although he has a lot of money to play around with, Sheikh Hamdan believes that it's important to not give money such high importance in life. He's written poems about his feelings towards materialism and modesty, emphasizing the importance of being humble and not showing off. Like we mentioned earlier, Sheikh Hamdan's Instagram feed is full of pictures from around the world. From hiking through California's Yosemite National Park to going on a safari in Tanzania, it's clear that the Crown Prince is a keen adventurer that's making the most out of life. And just because he's from Dubai, it doesn't mean that he's afraid of the cold. Sheikh Hamdan has climbed through a glacier, has gone snowboarding in Canada, and has spent winter vacationing in Aspen. If we didn't know any better, we'd think that the Crown Prince was a travel influencer due to the number of trips he takes. While he did once snap a picture of himself taking a ride on the London Underground, we still imagine that his travels must cost him a small fortune. When traveling on water, he can count on his 252-foot yacht Smeralda to take him around in style. With six private cabins on board and the capacity to house up to 24 crew members, this mega boat is reportedly valued at 70 million. He no doubt also likes to fly around the world on his father's personal Boeing 747, which is a plane that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And wherever he does travel to, Sheikh Hamdan is sure to take part in some extreme sports along the way. In Dubai, he's been seen testing out a jet lev, which is a personal jetpack that is used in the water. While it's unclear whether he purchased the product or just rented it for a few hours, he could certainly afford the retail value of over $100,000. Sheikh Hamdan loves the water apparently, as he even went cave diving while vacationing somewhere in the Americas. He free dived down into the cave, which means that he didn't have an oxygen tank to help him breathe while descending and ascending. His underwater photographer revealed to GQ that he's able to free dive a depth of nearly 100 feet, which is rather impressive. A total adrenaline junkie, the Crown Prince is also an experienced skydiver. Is there anything this man can't do? He's so experienced that he can jump out of a plane all on his own, without the help of an instructor. Since skydiving equipment can cost thousands of dollars and you need to fly up into the sky for each jump, this is a hobby that can get quite pricey. Perhaps the greatest thing about Dubai's Crown Prince is the fact that he's a pretty selfless guy. When an Emirati cancer patient receiving treatment in the US posted an emotional video on Instagram about how much his treatment was going to cost him, Sheikh Hamdan offered to pay the bill. At just over $800,000, this bill was easily afforded by the Crown Prince and he made a fellow Emirati's life much easier in the process. But this isn't the first time that Sheikh Hamdan felt charitable. When he won $6 million from the Dubai World Cup back in 2015, he donated his winnings to the Dubai Autism Center. He's even the chairman of the center, which is a non-profit organization that helps autistic kids integrate into society and that also creates social awareness. He definitely learned how to be generous from his father. Sheikh Mohammed has offered his private jet multiple times to help out with different humanitarian missions, among his many other charitable acts. The Crown Prince even once paid the travel cost of 400 fans that were sent to watch the Asian Champions League football final in China. But Sheikh Hamdan does like to splurge on himself every now and again. Back in 2008, 
he spent a record price on an item at Abu Dhabi Festival. While you might be imagining that he dropped 2.7 million on something really luxurious, he actually spent the money on a camel. According to the organizers of the Camel Festival at the time, the female camel he got was the most expensive one ever purchased. In total, he reportedly spent nearly 4.5 million on more than a dozen camels that day. It might sound odd, but camels are a key part of the UAE's cultural heritage. Camel racing is also a popular sport there, and female camels are faster than their male counterparts. While his enviable life is made possible by his immense wealth, it seems that his life doesn't revolve around it. Instead of trying to emulate flashy celebrities, we should all try to be a bit more like Sheikh Hamdan. The world needs more people like him. When a fellow Emirati reached out to him on social media to invite him over for lunch, he actually accepted the invitation. When a worker was cleaning the windows of a high-rise tower that he was in, Sheikh Hamdan posted the video of his hard work and added the caption that read, thank you, in Arabic. The Crown Prince even started the Dubai Fitness Challenge back in 2017 to help encourage locals to take part in 30 minutes of exercise for 30 days. Just a few days after the first edition of this challenge, he he sent a message out to residents asking them to volunteer at least once a year. Speaking of volunteering, he put his scuba diving gear back on in 2017 to help out with a big marine environment cleanup in his area. In his opinion, volunteer work is one of the most important means for advancement in society. While he seems like a total catch, he isn't yet married. We can't help but wonder if he'll have an over-the-top wedding, just like his parents did when the time comes. That's all for This is How the Crown Prince of Dubai Spends His Billions. What's the first thing that you would spend your money on if you had billions of dollars in the bank? Were you surprised by Sheikh Hamdan's charitable ways? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up before you go.